Um. So today's topic eh, isn't so much controversial as it is something that people just really don't really talk about much and don't really speak to a whole lot. Um, and to clear things up, I'm actually not going to sit here and tell you that, that Stance uh, in specific uh, is ruining the car scene. I'm not going to actually sit here and tell you that any specific click or any specific type of modification or type of racing is ruining the car scene. Um, what I am going to tell you guys today is uh, the truth. I'll start off by saying this. We, and by we, I mean kind of like my age and younger. We grew up as a very self-entitled generation, and we grew up with teachers that were more concerned about what red pins uh, did to our feelings than how we actually learned from our mistakes and actually learned how to do quality work. Like We grew up in a generation where we don't know how to take constructive criticism. We don't even really know how to talk anymore. So what we're going to talk about today is us because quite literally we are what is ruining the car scene. And what do I mean by that? So. I'll start off by saying this. I think one of the stupidest and most useless things you can say to somebody is, is sit there and go, we should respect everybody for everything that they ever do and we should compliment everybody despite what they've done with their car. We should, we should just respect everybody's build, we should just respect what everybody has to say and do and we should just, that, that's that. No, see the problem, the problem nowadays is we don't appreciate diversity and we sit there and we cover ourselves in this blanket of ignorance and uh, we kind of hide ourselves from any form of, of constructive criticism or or any, honestly, any form of actual conversation. The way people deal with things they don't want to hear about now is they go, oh, you're just a hater. Oh, well, it's my car, I can do what I want. That is the most ignorant thing like you can say. Like that is the, <laughs> I, it's, it's so irritating when people say that. And yes, while I do agree, it is your car, you should do what you want. That's great, you can absolutely do what you want. If you like stance, go ahead and do that to your car. But here's the thing, whether you like stance, whether you like function, whether you like drag racing, whether you like road racing, it doesn't matter. You have to be prepared to not hear what you want to hear. You have to be prepared to hear people's opinions. Like you're going to always hear the things that you don't want to hear and nowadays we don't know how to take that. You have zero control. Like you literally have no control over what people say about you. You have no control over what people say about your car. Like we can't control the amount of bullies in the world. That is inherently, <laughs> that is by nature going to be existent no matter what we do. Like. People are going to be evil, people are going to be rude, people are going to be selfish, people are going to say what the hell they want to say no matter what, so stop trying to control that, stop trying to regulate that, and sit there and, like, we should sit there and appreciate the fact that we have diverse opinions. Like, we shouldn't sit there and say, oh, everybody should show up at this car meet and everybody should be happy with what everybody does. No. I want to, if I walk up to a car and say, I don't like that car, I'm going to say that because I don't have to like that specific car. Now, I'm not saying anything about you in specific. I'm just saying I don't like the way they modify their car. I don't like the way they did this. I don't like the way they did that. And that is, and that is how humans are. Like I said, like by nature, we are judgmental. We're rude. And there's no controlling that. Like, you can't sit there and get offended when somebody sits there and says, oh, I think your car is stupid. You can't control that. But what you can control is the way that you respond to these types of things and the way that you communicate back. And the best way to do that is to actually be well versed in your opinions. I think the stupidest excuse for leaving a conversation and actually like forfeiting a conversation is saying, well, it's my money, it's my car, I can do what I want. Well, yeah, obviously, Sherlock, but it's really, it, it's, it's hilarious to me because, you know, if I say something negative about somebody else's car, instead of them replying to me and like actually starting legitimate conversation, they say, oh, well, you're just a hater. That's basically pulling a blanket over your head and saying, oh, well, I'm just gonna kind of drop out of this conversation and just pretend I'm winning in my own world anyways. It just, we have completely forgotten how to actually take criticism and how to actually deal with people who make nonsensical mistakes and stupid, like irrational, misjudgments. I can tell you in all honesty, I'm going to change the uh, brightness of this because I look like 
a freaking Twilight character right now. I get more judgment than any one of you watching this video. So take it from me. Like, I have to deal with hundreds of thousands of people all the time that see my car. Like, no matter what I do to my car, somebody is always going to hate what I do. Somebody's always going to hate the things that I say, the things that I do, the videos I make, the things I modify to my car, the reasons I do them. Like, I have no control over that. But I have learned over the years that I can control how much I get upset over people making stupid, irrational misjudgments, and I can control the way that I respond to them. And usually the best way to respond to them is, you know, if they're actually open-minded enough to actually carry on a conversation, then carry on a conversation and explain to them why, because I'm well-versed in all of the things that I've done with my car. Like, I have reasoning to do all this. If you like stance, you better believe it, that you should probably have a good reason that you do it. I mean, if you like it, if you, in all honesty, if you just like it, then you can say that. You can be like, I enjoy the artistic part of being stanced. Like, I, I personally think that it's stupid. I've even been there. Like, I have actually done that. And I realize that it's no fun to drive a car that's like that. I've been there. I've done that. So, you know, I have a credible opinion in that area. But there are some people that legitimately just enjoy the artistic part of that. And that's okay. It's the same thing for, like, imports versus domestics. People are going to choose the types of car that they want to choose despite what anybody else thinks. Same argument goes to drag racing and road racing. Drag racers, um, because they can't take corners like a... <laughs> I can't even I can't even say that seriously. I'm not sitting there telling you guys that like we should get rid of all playful banter and you know we should just we should just be happy and you know like that like I no like I'm honestly encouraging you to state your opinion and if you're going to state your opinion in the same sense that somebody else should be well versed in their opinion, you should too. If you don't like a car you shouldn't be offended if somebody asks you why and you don't have a reason. That's your own fault. And I'm right behind an old Audi 2 liter turbo. This is great. We're going to hoon together. <laughs> Here's my point, guys. Stance isn't killing the car scene. Drag racers aren't killing the car scene. Street racers, road racers, like professional racers. There's no click that's specifically ruining the car scene, but I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't be loving. I absolutely think that everyone should be loving, but you have to realize that being loving is far, far, far different than respecting everything that you see on the road. Like, I show my love for someone by criticizing them so they don't do something stupid twice in a row. I show my love to my fiance by being honest with her and not sitting there telling her what she wants to hear, you know, that might piss her off a little bit, but that's kind of the point. Your car is not what's going to determine the respect I give to you. The respect I give to you is going to come from your ability to speak to the reasons why you've done what you've done and have a solid foundation for kind of what you're doing and kind of what you stand for. Love it. I love it. It's such a beautiful day. Anyways, if you take anything from this today, don't let little things get to you. If people criticize you, whether it's an actual form of criticism or whether it's just the most stupid remark in the world, don't let it bother you. You know, take every little bit of advice that you can get and use it for your own good. And you can show that outwardly. There's no shame in that. And that is that. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> Subscribe. Does this lighting make me look beautiful?